What's going on YouTube? This is Ultima I Device Vids, and in this video I'm going to be giving you guys some more news regarding the jailbreak situation for iOS 8.2. And if you follow this channel, I'm sure you've realized that I've already made three of these videos, but as always, I just want to keep you guys completely updated on the situation for the jailbreak as it progresses. So make sure that, you know, before you watch this video, that you have seen part one, two, and three of the, you know, of this series, I guess you'll call it, and I'll have all those links in the video description down below. And what I have to talk to you about today is a member of the Pangu team on their Twitter account did say something pretty interesting regarding the jailbreak situation for iOS 8.2. Now this account does not have many followers, and the reason for that is it's not directly linked on the Pangu team's website. However, I am pretty sure that it's a legitimate account, and the reason I am pretty sure of that is because another member of the Pangu team does follow this account, and that makes me, again, pretty sure that um, this is a legitimate account because why would a real member of the Pengu team be following a fake account? It just doesn't make sense. And of course, I'll go more into depth than that in just a second. Also, the Pengu team is holding their own uh, security summit, and it's being held in June. And this is similar to Taiji's security summit that was held on March 27th. And you know, I'll talk about the significance of that, you know, in the future of jailbreaking. And with that all being said, let's get right into it. All right, and the first thing I want to show you is the Twitter account that I was talking about. So here's the Twitter account. It, the address is at OGC557. And as you can see, as I said earlier, it doesn't have many followers. This has only 43 followers. And what this account says that you know is exciting to me, there are two tweets that are pretty exciting. So the first one is, just because we won't release doesn't mean we don't have. And you know this was said recently, so you know it's probably regarding the iOS 8.2 jailbreak. So the fact that he is hinting that they may have a jailbreak and they may just be waiting for maybe iOS 8.3 to release it to preserve the exploits, or maybe even iOS 8.4 or iOS 9 even, you know, that's very good to see that somebody, you know, possibly has this jailbreak. And also there's another tweet, if you scroll down to the bottom here, he, uh, this person says, we are looking into iOS 8.1.3. Now, iOS 8.1.3 was the first iOS version that did patch the 8.1.2 and earlier jailbreak from Taiji. So the fact that they're, you know, that a member of the Pengu team is saying that they're looking at it is a very good thing. So it sounds like they do have something up their sleeve. Now, some of you may be wondering, where did I get this account and how do I know that it's reputable? So if you go to the Pengu team's website, which I have open over here, and just scroll down to the bottom and zoom in, here are the developers' Twitter accounts. So as you can see right here, here are the developers' again Twitter accounts over there. Now, as you can see, there it is, at OC, um, OGC557. Now, if you click on this, it's not going to be the account that I just showed you. As you can see, this is a different account, and this one is more popular. It has 523 followers. This is most likely his public account that he intends most people to follow. However, if you go to the direct address of uh, OGC557, you will get a different account. And as you can see right here, this handle is not, you know, OGC557. It is at M-O-D-I-K-R. So it's a different account. However, as I said earlier, if you go to the direct address of OGC557, you'll get this account. And this is one that I was just talking about a second ago. Now, some of you may be wondering how I know this account is legit and it's not just some scammer. And how I know that is if you go to followers here and scroll down, as you can see, WinOCM is following this account. And WinOCM is a reputable jailbreak developer. She worked on the iOS 6.1.6, 6.1.5, 6.1.4, 6.1.3, .6 untethered jailbreak. So definitely a reputable person in this community. And if you scroll down, as you can see right here, a Pangu developer, another reputable Pangu developer who we know is reputable, is following this account as well. And how I know this developer is reputable, the Into Pangu developer is if you go to Pangu's website that I was just on over here. And here's the Into Pangu account. And if you click on this, this is the exact account that was just following the account that I was talking about. And, you know, why would a reputable member of the Pangu team be following a fake account that isn't a member of the Pangu team? So that's why I'm pretty sure that, you know, this account over here that I was just showing you is a reputable Pangu team member account. So basically what I'm saying is this person right here, um, Modiker, is the same person as OCJ over here. This person just has two accounts for whatever reason. But it's really exciting to see that, you know, they said they're looking into 8.1.3 you know, the patched jailbreak firmware, which, you know, now is iOS 8.2, that they're even looking at, you know, iOS 8.3, and now most likely 8.2 is very good. And also that they said that they may already have it, and that they even implied that is a very good thing. 
So if you want to, you know, keep up to date with this, of course, be sure to subscribe to this channel. As always, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, you know, Google Plus, but also give this account a follow as well and just keep your eye on it, you know, so if anything changes, you'll know, you know, right when it happens. And next up, I'd like to talk about Pangu's version of Mobile Security Summit. So on Weibo, which is a social network in China, very similar to Twitter here in the United States and elsewhere, they did post this right here. And this is them talking about the event. They also posted a picture to represent the event right here. And it is June 5th, 2015, as you can see. And if you run Google Translate on this text right here, it basically comes out to saying that, again, there's going to be an event on in Shanghai on June 5th you know, by the Pangu team and, so, and some other people as well, as you can see right here. And researchers will basically discuss, share, you know, the latest mobile security research in not only iOS, but as you can see, Android, Windows Phone, uh, Windows Phone as well. So, and it also has a link to the registration as well. Now, you may be wondering what significance does this have to the future of jailbreaking iOS 8.2, etc. And the significance that it might be is if there isn't a jailbreak out for iOS 8.2, 8.3, or 8.4, you know, by June 5th, if there still isn't anything out by that time, that could be, you know, that's a d decent bet or decent guess of when a jailbreak could be released. However, based off of how often we've been seeing jailbreaks, you know, this year so far, I would most likely say a jailbreak would be out way before then. So uh, most likely, you know, there will already be a jailbreak by Taiji, you know, Pangu or someone else. But just in case there isn't, you know, that's definitely a possible ETA for a jailbreak. And who knows, maybe after, you know, a new jailbreak is released, you know, sometime close to now, Maybe after that's patched, maybe, who knows, maybe the Pangu team will release another jailbreak at that event. Who knows? You know, whenever these events happen, a lot of people uh, get excited because, you know, they think that a jailbreak could come out. And it could, you know, who knows? It's not a bad guess for a jailbreak release. So in the future, we might be seeing some sort of jailbreak release, you know, at Pangu's event on June 5th. And of course, as always, you know, when any jailbreak is released by anyone, you know, for any iOS version, as always, I should make a tutorial for you guys showing you how to jailbreak your device. And also, of course, I'll keep you guys updated along the way, you know, with news progress and just, you know, what's going on. So today's video did have a lot of news regarding the Pangu team, and they have been pretty quiet lately. So it's good to see that they're still, you know, working on jailbreaks and, you know, that they have that event planned for June. And it's also good to see that one of the members is speaking out, that account that I was talking about you know, that they're talking about their progress. And a lot of people don't know about that account. So definitely go give that account a follow, you know, check in with it occasionally, see what's going on. And of course, you know, if anything happens, I'm sure to let you guys know on this channel with another news video. And for those people who are still maybe doubting that that account is legitimate, there's really no reason why you should. I mean, why would two reputable jailbreak developers be following a fake account? And those two people being WinOCM and Into Pangu. So the fact that those two reputable jailbreak developers who are, who we are positive are reputable people, the fact that they're following this account pretty much confirms to me that it is a legitimate account and that the person behind that account is a legitimate member of the Pangu team. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you're now more informed regarding the jailbreak situation for iOS 8.2. If this video was helpful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel. Also, be sure to follow the channel on Twitter, like the channel's Facebook page, and add it to one of your circles in Google+. Also, be sure to follow my personal Twitter account, and all that is linked in the description down below. And again, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.